Alright guys, I'm back with another gun review today on Black Ops 2. Today I'm going to rev be reviewing the MMS MSMC. It's a bit of a mouthful, that's why I didn't say it properly. But anyway, uh, the gameplay is 30 kills, 11 deaths, and I'm going to be telling you some stats about the gun and why I think you should use it over any other sort of submachine gun. So the damage output, the minimum it can put out is 18 damage, but obviously that's if you're shooting from like a really, really far range. And the highest damage, obviously really up close, is 40 damage. It's in the, as I said a minute ago, the weapon class of submachine gun. The magazine size, if you just start off without extended mags, is 30. But if you put extended clip on, it bumps it up to 40. So you find yourself reloading a lot with this gun, especially if you're on a game like Free For All where you're constantly needing the ammo. But if you've got something like Fast Mag on, then it's not really a problem. Um, you unlock it quite later on, which is uh, level 28, so it's not a gun that you can you know, use straight away unless you take it through to the next prestige review. <coughs> so even though it's got a low capacity uh, of ammo, it's still got really like high damage output. And as you can tell, I can just pick off people from a distance if you just like um, burst fire it rather than just holding down the trigger or the button in this case. So as I said before, starting start uh, ammunition is 30. But if uh, plus an extra 90 to reload to, and the reload time is is actually fairly fast. Um, but this is even without fast mags. Normal t normal reload time is 2.07 seconds. Um, but if you reload from a completely empty clip, which doesn't happen most of the time because um, you just generally reload after each kill anyway, it goes up to 2.75 seconds from empty. Uh, the rate of fire for the gun is 720 rounds per minute and if you add the rapid fire attachment it goes up to 900 rounds per minute. I wouldn't recommend putting on the rapid fire because it becomes sort of uncontrollable, the recoil goes a lot higher than it is without and there are other better attachments that you could use instead of rapid fire. The recoil is roughly about moderate, if you add a foregrip though it goes down to low. I My attachments would be either the foregrip or the quick mag along with a sight of your choice. In this video I use the reflex sight because that's my personal favourite. It is an automatic weapon as you've guessed by now from watching already two minutes of the gameplay. Um, in, as I said in this game I went 30 to 11. I was wanting to review a, a new gun but wasn't sure which gun to go for because I'm trying to stray away from the usual um, MP7s and vectors. Vectors are notorious in Call of Duty at the moment because people just run around with them, put, have hip fire on them and just spray and before you even get the time to react they've already just killed you so it becomes sort of ridiculous but I think the um, MSMC is good if you're able to just look around corners or you can put um, steady aim on so you don't even have to zoom in which I wouldn't recommend doing because it's kind of a new tactic but uh, you know. I've also been trying out the uh, sight finder on other sort of guns, which I haven't unlocked on this gun yet. But um, I've been trying out the sight finder, and I've actually been finding it really helpful. I don't know if it's me or not, but it seems to sort of aim at the enemies for you when you are um, shooting around corners. I don't know if that's an advantage of using that or not. But anyway, I have re reviewed other sort of light machine guns in the past, and I've always said, well, why, why should you, you know, should you should use this instead of another submachine gun? Um, because it's got high ammo and you don't ever have to reload. But in my personal opinion, if you don't like light machine guns whatsoever and you just want a fully automatic submachine gun, then the MSMC is the way to go. Uh, other attachments of choice could be the extended clip if you're constantly finding yourself running out of ammo, especially with the low 30, 30 bullet clip, which is, I guess, sort of low if you if, even if you don't have rapid fire on and you're constantly shooting people in a fast paced game mode like free for all. Um, but as I said before, my personal preference will be a sight of your choice and fast mag so you can quickly get the reload out. I mean, I'm not sure what the reload time is with fast mag, but considering it's just over two seconds without um, fast mag in the first place, I can't imagine you know how quick it must be. You can see in your video, it's probably about a, one and a half seconds with fast mag on. Uh, I can't give you an exact number, but yeah. Other sort of uh, sites would be if you're on like a uh, if you'd say like a versus sort of game mode like a one v one it'd be good to put suppressor on so people you know you go undetected but then again you ha you also like have a drop off of the long range if you put suppressor on so it has its disadvantages. Laser sights also good if you want to hit fire all the time rather than zooming in. But as I said before, I think hit firing isn't a very good tactic if you can't guarantee yourself the kill because obviously it's going to be a random burst. Um, 
in your crosshair and it's not going to be pinpoint accuracy. Anyway, that's the end of my video for my uh, MSMC. That's, it's really a mouthful to say because it's like one of those words that's really difficult to pronounce because you always think, is it M F M C M S or whatever. Anyway, if you like this re review, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more gun reviews and other content coming from me soon. I apologize for the lack of content recently. I've been really, really busy over the past four days, but hopefully I'm getting about two or three videos out today, so it shouldn't make up for it. If you guys like this gun and give it a go and have good results of it, be sure to post in the comments and let me know how you got on. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.